decluttering and reorganizing my kitchen cabinets. It has been a long time since I actually went through a lot of my cabinets and decluttered or purged or reorganized all of my stuff. And I actually have a lot of things. When we moved into this house and we saw all of the cabinets, Brian literally said, I don't think you'll ever be able to fill any of those cabinets up. Boy, was he wrong. Because every single one of these cabinets is completely filled up with dishes and stuff that I do use and stuff, some stuff that I just don't use anymore. Stuff that's like old, needs to be tossed, or needs to be given to somebody else who can use it. Um, we built this island that I'm standing in front of just so I could have more room for some of my stuff. Also, the pantry, I had to put extra shelves in there so I would have room for more stuff. And the more stuff that I accumulate, it's just like I'm kind of I'm like running out of room. So it's time to declutter, reorganize, and clean and purge and get stuff out of here that I'm just not using. And I do have a few things that I already know that I'm gonna be getting rid of. As you guys saw in yesterday's video, if you guys missed it, I will put it up here in the iCard and I will leave a link to this in the description box below to that video that I did yesterday where I cleaned out and purged my cabinet up above my refrigerator here and <clears throat> excuse me, my china cabinet or hutch. I actually cleaned that out as well and got rid of a ton of Christmas dishes that I'm just not using and my niece, my niece Courtney, claimed all those. So she's gonna be getting those. Such a lucky girl because she's gonna enjoy hosting Christmases in the future with some of those dishes. So what I'm basically going to be doing is going through my cabinets and I'm actually gonna start over here in these cabinets right there um, <clears throat> because the center one where the wreath is at is where all of my mugs were at. And you guys watched that video again the other day where Brian hugged up that new mug rack in my pantry. I was able to put a lot of my mugs on that rack, which is great because it freed up a lot of space in this cabinet right there um, where we kept all of our mugs. Brian wasn't able to see all of his mugs because they were all packed in the back and and um, so now we have them out and we're able to see them when he wants to go pick up a mug. But basically what I'm going to be doing is cleaning out the cabinets. I deep cleaned my stove yesterday, my oven. So I had it on self cleaner for about four hours. And then after it was done, I completely wiped all of that out and it looks so amazing. It's so clean and I absolutely love it. So I will show you guys that. I'll show you guys my oven in just a few minutes. And then, um, yeah, let's just kind of get started on cleaning out these cabinets. I don't know how long it's going to take because I have a lot of stuff that I want to go through. So let's go ahead and get started with that. First things first though, let me go ahead and show you my oven and then we'll set up and I'll start cleaning out that cabinet. This video is in collaboration with another youtuber by the name of authentically angie and she is definitely authentic she lives in the northern part of georgia and um, she is a stay-at-home mom with two young little girls she homeschools them she does a bunch of videos um hauls uh diys and a lot of clean with me and she's a lot of a uh, lot of motivation as well so make sure that you guys go over there and watch her video after you are finished watching mine and make sure you like her video and subscribe to her channel as well also go follow her on Instagram she always posts a lot of great pictures she's a Disney lover as well so I mean that's always a plus am I right she is actually doing a clean with me a deep clean video as well in her kitchen and she's doing two DIYs so make sure that you guys go over there and watch her so you guys can see inside of my oven I do have my cast iron skillet in there but look at how shiny and pretty and clean my oven looks I even cleaned the little uh, window here so and I scrubbed everything down it looks amazing and I absolutely love the way that that turned out it just feels so good I am going to be going next time I go to the store I'm going to get one of those little covers that you put on the bottom of that um, to keep it safe from getting anything spilled on it so that's what I'm gonna do I love it my oven is nice and clean let's get to cleaning up
such a lot of work to do. It's amazing what you can accumulate over 20 years of being together or being married. It's amazing. And what, four houses later? I wanted to show you guys really quick what um, I put out on my dining room table. Um, okay, so this is what I took out of my cabinets and now my dining room table is full of crap. So um, basically I'm gonna take all of this stuff to Goodwill. There's just stuff here that I don't need, don't want, and <clears throat> so all of this stuff is gonna go to Goodwill except for um, this stuff right here. This stuff is gonna go down to my neighbor Tiffany um, because she's getting ready, she's redoing her kitchen and she's doing some navy blue like accents. And so she was, I'm, I'm giving this stuff to her. So I sent her a picture of it and she said she wanted it. So I'm taking it down to her. All the rest of the stuff though is gonna go to Goodwill. So um, maybe not that basket, I just kinda have that sitting there. Everything else though is going to Goodwill. So that is a lot of stuff that I have cleaned out of my cabinets and made room for not more stuff, just made room. And then I could not believe how many like cups I have, those like water bottle cups, these things, holy crap. So let me show you guys what I did. Obviously you guys have been following me, you guys know, watching the video. Um, if you guys made it this far, I'm just gonna kinda do a little recap. So basically what I did is I took the stuff out of this cabinet, except for that stuff up there. I left that there because that's where I'm gonna keep it. But all the rest of the stuff I've moved around and I actually wiped down the cabinet. Didn't wipe up there though. Um, <laughs> but I did wipe down this cabinet here. So this one is nice and clean and organized. I took out some stuff from in there. So that is nice and clean. On to the next one. So this is my corner cabinet and I put stuff up there and cleaned all this out. This is where I'm gonna put more of my um, Ray Dunn like bowls and stuff. Here's my mixing bowls and then my um, Pioneer Woman bowls back here and then I have another set back there. And then these are like um, old um, Pampered Chef like little dishes that I like to keep around. I like to put like eggs in there or sugar when I'm doing ingredients and stuff. So that's always nice to have. And then of course all of my storage glass stuff up here and then more Ray Dunn stuff back there. And that stuff is just stuff that I don't use like all the time but use it, you know? So that's up there. Everything's nice and clean in there as well. Then right here, I put all of the rest of the mugs that didn't fit on that rack up here. And then of course I did not clean any of this out just yet because I really wanted to get all of my other stuff organized. But this is just our little coffee area, coffee and tea. So this is where all of this stays. I store all of the coffees in here, hot cocoa, et cetera, et cetera. Perfect because that's where the coffee mugs are at. And then over here, I didn't really clean this out yet, but I really need to just kind of get it organized again. Um, this is where we just kind of keep all of our like meds, but then I wiped off that area up there so that is nice and empty for anything else that I might need. <laughs> um, I cleaned this off as well, or out as well. And this, this area, I did not. I did not touch that. That's gonna be like a whole other like different area as in like, my junk area and of course the junk drawer as well um that's gonna be a whole other video but i put some extra mugs up there wiped down this whole entire cabinet except for this section here and i just added some extra stuff up here that i'm not using um, and extra stuff that i can't put any place else i moved all of my cookbooks over here so now i have a whole shelf designated to cookbooks and this is an old Pampered Chef like chopper, but I just had that sitting up there because I had no place else to put it for the moment. I'll put it in my pantry now though. Um, but yeah, so there's all my cookbooks. And then this is just all like my baking stuff, my old mixer and then measuring cups and stuff like that that I like to keep there. So all that stuff can stay right there. And then I put, um, this is the other cabinet that I cleaned out. I, these were over in the other cabinet on the other side of the kitchen and I just put these over here because these are just Christmas dishes that I don't use except for at Christmas time. And then we just keep our Crisco up here in the pan for our pans. And then what else did I do? Um, I cleaned out this down here and put those pans back. Brian wanted a more like spacious place for pans. So I did that. 
And then I cleaned out this whole area as well, which definitely needed it. So now I have everything nice and neat up here. I need to go get more of this stuff. This stuff is amazing. It's just like really thick liner for um, cabinets. So I like it. Um, I put all of those um, cups up there. So they are all lined up there, which is really nice. And then one like glass um, pitcher right there. But these are all the pans that we do use. And then of course all my muffin pans and then my, um, what are those things called? I don't even remember. Yeah, that's what they're called. Racks, that's what they're called. Um, cooling racks. <laughs> but yeah, I did all this and cleaned this all up. So, woo, that is a lot of work. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I am pooped. I am pooped dead tired i'm sure my back is gonna hurt my legs are gonna hurt now the only cabinets that i did not get to were um like these ones over here i don't need to these are all organized the way that i want them this is how i keep everything inside of this cabinet so for that that's not getting touched at all um these, this down here is probably going to get um, moved around. I need to go down here and clean some of this stuff out. I want to move, you know, my griddle down there to that cabinet and a couple other things down there as well. So that's going to be next. And then the next thing that I'll do is this cabinet here, which, oh my God, that's atrocious. That's all of my like Tupperware and not, not even Tupperware, you know, fakeware, the plastic stuff. And then that is going to get tackled in the next video. Um, or in a video soon. Um, all of this is going to get taken care of as well and cleared out. So that's a lot of stuff in there as well. So, um, yeah, for the most part, that is it. Um, the other day I told you guys, remember when I bought these sheet protectors? Um, these, uh, I wanted to put all of my like recipes and stuff in there. Like see this recipe is just kind of sitting out. I wanted to put them in the sheet protectors and then start putting them inside of a binder. See this? It's just all over the place. So I really want to kind of go through this and get all of this stuff organized and put it inside of the three, a three ring binder, probably a much bigger one than this, and get all that stuff organized. So that's something that I want to do. And uh, yeah, oh my gosh, I am hot and sweaty. I knew that my... Um, uh, hair would be up in a ponytail by the end of this video because I'm hot. So anyway, so there you have it. That's what I did today. Whew. Thank you guys so much though for hanging out with me. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this little like motivational get your butt together and get that kitchen cabinets cleaned out and rub down, scrub it, get rid of stuff that you don't need, that you don't want, that's just cluttering up your cabinets. Get it out, give it away, take it to somebody who could use it or need it. And you will feel so much better because trust me, I do. When I open my cabinets now, I'm like, ah, very, very nice. And Brian's going to like it too because there's, there's nothing like crowded. Nothing's stuck. Nothing is like um, cramped in there. You know what I mean? Or stuffed in there, shoved in there. So anyway, with that being said, thank you guys so much for hanging out today and cleaning with me and giving me the motivation to do it as well. I hope this video gives you motivation. I hope Angie's video over on Authentically Angie has given you motivation as well. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.